Welcome you all. In this video, we are going to see about working with React props and state. To do this, I am opening the existing experiment in VS Code and then I am creating one more component called EX3. In EX3 component, I am creating the new file parent.jsx another file child.jsx what i have to do is i have to have some user component i have to have the user component with the name age and location that is parent component okay then i need to display the name age and location in the parent itself but I need to change these values in the child. Initial values are in parent. Then I am displaying in the parent. But I am changing the values in the child. Once I change the value in the child, that need to be updated in the parent. This is what we are saying it as state lifting. Lifting back the state to parent. Okay. The new state is in child. We are lifting back that to parent. So I am going to have some parameters for the user and then I am going to lift the state from child to parent to update the value in the parent. Now let me have a parent component with export default function parent. Then in, func then in this I will have return block whatever I am returning in the parent that will display in the window. So now let me have three variables that means three constant stateful components, constant stateful components, one name, set name. Why I am saying this a stateful component? While I am changing the value of the stateful component, the entire page will get re-rendered. This page will get re-rendered. I am using the default value for the name that is n1. Then second one, I will say salary. U state is used to set the default state value that is 0. Third one, I will say location. Understand why I am doing like this? Because whenever I keep updating these values, this page will get re-rendered. Location default value is L1. So now, now I am having some default value N1, 0 and L1 for name, salary and location. Let me display this. For doing display, I am having display component. Inside the display component, let me have a return. Inside the return, I will create one div. So first I will display name value that is name. Why I am using flower brace? Because inside JSX I am writing JavaScript. That means I have to use flower brace. The left side salary is just a label that is JSX, HTML kind of. Right side one is going to be the variable which is from JavaScript. So I am using the flower brace. Then Between each, I want to have a break tag. So let me have a break tag. But after doing this also, it won't get display because your main component have to call the display component in the return. Whatever is there in the return of your main component, that only will appear in the page. How I am saying this parent as the main component? Because in main.jsx, I am going to call the parent. Whenever you click on parent, it will be automatically imported here. Why? Because you had exported the parent. Since I set parent here, 
parent becomes main component and whatever is there in the return block of main component that will appear in the screen. So I'm calling the display component. So display will appear in the screen. Then to change this value, let me have another function that I will have it as an arrow function. Change user is the constant value which will refer to one arrow function. And I will get three parameters here n for name, s for salary, l for location. Then I will just change the values set name of n, set salary of s, set location of l. Now I am changing these values, but to get this into effect i want to call this change user function with these three values i am going to call this change user function from the child only that is the concept that means in the child component i need to get the data from the user and then i need to call this change user first i will go to the child now then i will create export default function child so inside the child function let me have a return inside return div block open close so here i will have three text boxes to collect the input input type equal to text and then we can give either id or name to this text box i am giving id for the first text box and after a break tag let me have a salary for this also input type equal to text then here i will have a name as tv text box to show you variety of retrieval with id and name then next i will have location here i will have input type equal to text and name need not to be unique i can also have same name for two text boxes to demonstrate you i am going to have the same name here but id is unique then one more break tag and then one button here i will say update user while clicking the button i need to do that so i will type on you can able to see variety of uh, events are occurring here whichever event you want you can choose i am going to choose on click while clicking this button i am going to call the function called change fun change fun change fun is a function which will be called while clicking the button so i have to write the definition for change fun function change fun which will receive three things so i have to store where name equal to document dot get element by id because i want to access i want to access this value in the name text box that is by dom i am going to access document object model uh, where i am using document dot get element by id what is the id name i had said id name then dot value second variable is for salary here document dot get elements by name you can note s is there in the elements that is saying it is not unique and what is the name we are having tv and we have to say the index position of the name that is the first utterance that is zero tv of zero dot value why i am saying the index position because name is not a unique value then where location equal to same document dot document dot get elements by name same name is given for location also but next occurrence of index dot value 
Now I had retrieved name, salary, and location in the change fund, but I need to call the function which is in the parent. The parent is nothing but like in the parent, you are having change user function. This one I need to call in child. Can I access change user function in the child? As of now, no, because child is not having change user function. So you need to pass the change user function from parent to child. To do this, I'm just going to call the child after two, three break tags. So here I'm going to call the child component while calling the child, you can able to note child is imported in the top. Then I'm going to pass the value of change user. Left side is the label and right side is the actual value. Actual value is the function from JavaScript. So I'm using the flower brace. Then I'm calling the child component with the change user function. This one I have to receive it here. So I'm going to receive the change user function inside flower brace since it is a javascript and there is two ways of retrieving this is one of the way of retrieving okay if you have multiple parameters you can put comma and then put the name to retrieve second and the name to retrieve third but i'm having only one parameter so i'm just saying change user to receive that function after receiving it i'm just going to call the function with this name salary and then location values and then also note i'm having salary here that means i want to show something like a salary symbol okay that is rupee symbol to do that just go to google and type font away some indian rupee icon open the site you can able to get code and right side the output. So here I'm just copying the CDN link tag, which will provide the basic support. I am going to index.html where I will give this link tag after the meta tag. Save this. Then how to use this is you are having the i tag that is icon tag wherever you want you can use this so i'm taking the i tag and going to parent in parent before salary printing i'm just going to use this i tag this will produce a symbol for the rupees and remember to paste the cdn as well now i need to check the output how it is working on so to check the output i will open the experiment folder then inside cmd command prompt open and npm run dev it is running now so click o and enter you are getting the salary symbol here with the default values which we set this is the parent component and below one is a child component here in the child i'm going to update the new values name to name one salary to one lakh and location to vijayawada now I'm clicking on update user. You can able to see this what I had given in the child is being updated in the parent by doing the state lifting. Now we had done this in the first method. The second method of passing the value from parent to child, parent to child is while passing, we can pass in the same way. Okay. And I want to show you the example of passing two parameters as well. So just I'm going to say something like A equal to flower brace of 10 and B equal to flower brace of 20. So I'm going to pass three parameters here. Okay, how to receive these parameters in the first method? As I said, comma A, comma B. Now I want to display this. So how to get display? So after the button, I will just display these values with one break tag. I will say A, then one hyphen, then B. I am using JavaScript inside JSX, so I am using flower braces. Now just save it and check in the output. 
you will get 10 comma 10 hyphen 20 which we passed from the parent here okay the second way of receiving passing is same but the second way of receiving here is just put props any data you can put here okay but i'm saying props because it is properties okay and then if you say props everything will come as a dictionary okay inside the dictionary change user is one key a is another key b is another key so how to use props is a dictionary props dot change user here props dot a and here props dot b okay so you are receiving all the three values in the same dictionary this is the second way of receiving props dot change user props dot a props dot b so now also you can able to observe the same output is appearing here and if i give the value to update it will get updated as well so two ways of receiving is possible one is with flower brace and then first element comma second element and third element now Without flower brace, you can use in the second way a text. In the text, the dictionary will come in and the dictionary will have all the three keys and values. Okay. So, this is the experiment you are having. And in this experiment, we are passing the state value from parent to child. And in child, we are updating this and lifting the state back to the parent and we are displaying in the parent with two methods i hope so you understood the concept and thank you